Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about a question that came in from one of my previous videos, which is why did you do main arrow int instead of main arrow none when talking about the type annotations for the function? Uh, I'm going to show you that despite it working, there's a better alternative and why I chose int because it was you know, easier and more explicit. So let's jump into that and show that example. Okay, so the program that we had last time, let me just cd into temp into our explains directory. I usually do this before the video, but I forgot to do it today. Uh, let's make a simple function that uh, we'll start by returning none and just having print hello world. And if name equals main exit main. And this is similar to the basic program structure that I outlined in, actually, I think the first video of this series. So I'll, I'll link that other video in, in the description, although that one's more about testing the command line. Uh, and I'll show you that if I run this, that uh, the program works fine. And despite you know exiting none here, it uh, exits zero. Actually, I wonder what happens if we return the empty string here. Does that also do that? No, the empty string causes it to exit non-zero. Uh, anyway, this, this exit function is essentially the same as raise system exit, and uh, that causes the program to exit. And if you do raise system exit none, that is the same as saying exit zero. So this, this program does work, but the reason that I didn't do arrow none there, if install mypy, Put this back to exit pane. The reason that I didn't do arrow none there is if you run this through mypy, uh, mypy assumes any function which returns none cannot be used as a value, either as an input to a function or assigned to a variable. So you can see this here, this main call here, is being passed into the exit function, and mypy is not happy with that because it says main does not return a value, even though it returns none, and none is an acceptable parameter there. You'd see the same error, I believe, if you did this and did exit x. I think that will also give us, yeah, the same main does not return a value. <laughs> Essentially, the return value of any function which returns none cannot be used as an R value. But we can fix this in a very simple way that you know allows us to not change this code at all. And we can do that by doing from typing import optional. This still preserves the ability to return the return code from this function, but uh, by default, you don't need to have a separate you know, return zero at the end. This will work. MyPy should be happy. Oh, I guess it's it's still not happy with this because <laughs> I guess you need return none now uh, to make it explicit. So MyPy is still not happy. You still have to have this ugly code. So anyway, my solution to this and what I do in all of my code is to return integer and explicitly return zero here. And this will match the return code that comes out of the function. And MyPy is definitely happy with this, like this, this is all good. And if we run this, you know, we get a return value of zero. But anyway, hopefully that was helpful, kind of explaining one of the little teeny tiny things about MyPy and why I choose to use arrow int there. Um, and why it's a little bit annoying that it doesn't allow arrow none, but it, it makes sense to me. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If you have additional stuff you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.